Okay, welcome to Length of a Curve. Um, to, th this is actually a very useful thing uh, to be able to find out, you know, the, the length of a curve. Um, because with algebra, you know, the best we could do is go from end to end like that, measure that, and uh, say, hey, you know, that looks like, you know, it might be, uh, you know, a little more. Likewise, we could also break it into little line segments. You know, and uh, do that. You know, and um, this is basically the foundation of it. Um, you know, but if we want to find out the length of this curve, uh, that's what we do. So, um, this is the formula it yields, though. Um, today, I'm not going to go into how we get here. Okay, I hope to one day do that, but it's actually kind of deep and it's pretty tough. And you'll find out that this is pretty tough too. So, so based on uh, what we've got here. Um, you know, it looks like, um, you know, if we get a function, we want to know how long it is, um, we're going to have to find the derivative and we're going to have to square it, okay, right off the bat. So, let's go ahead and let's just dive into an example, okay? So, I want to, I want to find the length of y equals one-third x squared plus two to three halves power, and I want to go from zero to three, okay? As far as x goes, I'm sorry. I didn't, uh, I didn't zoom out enough. So, from x equals zero to three. Okay, well, the first thing we need to know, um, oh, and by, by the way, take this formula, go ahead and write it down, just keep it next to you, okay? so. First thing we need is going to be dy dx, isn't it? Okay, so let's go ahead and figure that out. Okay, let's see here. That's going to be constant doesn't change. It's going to be 3 halves x squared plus 2 minus 1. That's 1 half uh, times the chain rule. And we end up with this guy right here. Threes cancel. Two cancels. Looks like we're looking at x. Okay, one half. Okay, now we need dy dx squared. So that looks like it's going to be x squared uh, square a square root. Basically, is what we're doing here. So that's just going to be. which equals x to the fourth to x squared, okay? All right, so now we got uh, some pieces of information um, that we're gonna end up having to use. And let's see here. Uh, so the length, okay, is gonna be equal to, um, let's see here, we're going from zero to three. And we're after the square root of 1 plus uh, the derivative squared, which we already computed that. And that's going to be x to the 4th plus 2x squared dx. Okay. All right. Now let's just put a little uh, kind of thing right here. Okay. Um, when you when you encounter this, this this radical is what screws everything up and makes this really tough. Okay, so what? There's three things you're gonna have to do. Okay, you're gonna have to either use a u substitution, um, a trig substitution might work too, um, just to get rid of the radical, or you're gonna have to write this the radicand, you know, the thing inside of it as a square. Now it looks like we'll be able to do that. Okay. Um, that's, that's your best, that's sometimes, you know, easier said than done. Okay, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, let's go ahead and just rearrange it, rearrange this again. Okay, so we will have x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1 dx. So this will actually factor out. And this will give us a x squared plus 1. 
squared. Okay. Um, now that that works out to our advantage because now we can go ahead and simplify. Okay. All right. So now we can just go ahead and um, let's go x to the third over three plus x. And we're going to evaluate from three to zero. I got to stay on the page and never do. So we'll have, we'll end up with what? Three cubed, which is 27 thirds minus or plus three. And we're going to subtract that from, looks like zero plus zero. Uh, so that's nine plus three. So it looks like we equals 12 units long. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have the time to, to do the next one. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically how we're going to go about doing that. And fortunately the, the, the hardest part about this is, is this radical right here. Um, it's not always going to be this easy. Okay. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So, um, hopefully I can find some examples. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, explore having to use a U substitution, maybe a trig substitution, um, or something like that. Okay. Um, so, um, you know, look, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to have more videos, so, uh, don't worry. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching.